Oh. I forgot something. I need a brush. My brush was in the sink, but I got a brush right here, so I think we're pretty good. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm gonna do a few things. I'm gonna share to a few groups here, because that's what I do. Share to this, share here. I'm gonna share to this place. And why not here? Why not here, here, and here, 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 here. Let's share to this place too. How about this group? This looks like a good group too. All these are groups that I wanna to share to. Sharing to everyone, yay. Anyways, uh, good morning, happy Sunday. It's Sunday, right? Yeah, happy Sunday. I hope everyone's having a pretty good Sunday. Um, well, I did not, I did not get, I did not get to the painting. Uh, I didn't get the painting. My next, my extra three panels, I had to, I was doing some uh, other things that are of equally, equal importance uh, commissions and I need to get to those in a little bit. But right now I'm gonna sip some coffee. I think it's hot though. It might be hot coffee. I can't tell. I'm gonna, if I, if I cringe or if I like, if I make a weird face, then that means it's hot. That's hot. So, um, for those that follow, follow me, uh, all I'm doing today and for the next few days really is just putting the first layer on my tin panels here because I feel that's the best way to go about it. Uh, I know it's not the most entertaining of streams or things to do. Oh no, that was, whoa. I don't see that happen. Um, so I'm just putting the, fir the first layer out of these, of the paint of this paint of like, um, I think it's like first of like seven layers uh, on my panels. And in the meantime, I'll probably ponder what, how I'm gonna, what I'm gonna be doing with these panels. I don't know, like I could be, um, am I gonna be using certain colors? I don't know, we'll see. So I like to think about what I'm doing with these panels as I'm kind of constructing or doing the manual labor or the first layer, I actually probably, I'm always uh, uh, like a double negative where I'm always contradicting myself. These don't feel as sanded as I'd like them to be. You know, I wish I, I probably should have sanded them more. I don't know. Um, but I am in one of those positions where, there we go, I needed this. Positions where I just have to kind of accept where they uh the surface you know i'm not too worried about whether the panels are sanded to a smooth finish i don't think it's gonna it's too micro for me it's too microscopic of a of a choice and i've become more and more um um uh, what would you call it uh relaxed in in those type of small decisions when it comes to painting because Again, it really doesn't matter. I know, I mean, you probably have some, some fine artists out there who can uh, bring out some science to kind of negate that. Might say it does matter uh, because of the adhesion to the surface, the bonding to the surface. And then you might have other ones saying, yeah, you're right. It's probably better to have it less sanded because then you're the, on a micro level, the paint has little bitty hooks to grab on the surface. And then some are like, oh, you need it smooth for a better bonding, you know? So there's probably a little bit of tension there with regards to what's the best strategy on application of your paint. So it's just a really simple day. I'm gonna talk while I do these three panels here and then go about my merry way for the rest of the day, you know, good Sunday. I'm getting a lot of, I've been doing a lot of walking and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting a pretty, 
pretty fierce farmer's tan on the back of my neck. Oh gosh. Like I'm like wake I'm looking at my I'm I'm in, I'm looking at myself like man my neck is really red and tan. I am getting a very very strong tan tan neck. All right, I'm getting one of the best evenly dispersed tans on my neck area here. And there's that. Just a very simple day. I know I, I'm just going to reiterate this, this phrase over and over again, but it's because it's, it really is. You know, this is like the, um, this is tantamount to like setting out your, your palette before you do like a figurative painting. Or it's just basically construction of your, your surface. I'm just basically doing a, a, a mindless step for that is one of the steps to the infinite, no, the many steps to the painting. So I don't really, it's an, it's an important step, you know, you need a, you need something to coat the, the base with. It's a constructive step. Well, it doesn't mean it's not a boring step, you know? So it's one of those things you're like, you just got to do, and I'm going to try to just blaze through it because yesterday I went and I uh, talked for a really long period of time and I really got to get going after this. So I'm going to try to just bust through this and then maybe I'll have something to say afterwards. I don't know, but I don't really have anything to say today uh, other than I really, really got to get uh, uh, moving on my, my uh, commissions. Um, I really do. I just got to just got to sit down and do them like I've been doing them. It's just. But I'm working at like 50% capacity, and um, they're starting to they're starting to really ebb, like nag me in the back of my head. So, so I'm I'm just worried that I, I might have spilled some paint on this on these paintings over here. So I might have to move those those paintings that are kind of hanging out there um, because I can see them being a source of a. Uh, String. There's some like there's some paintings kind of hanging out in the wall here, and I was flipping some paint up here, and it can kind of blot like cascaded over the edge, and I don't want that. But yeah, I, after this, I'm gonna sit down and have some coffee for a little bit, and then go upstairs and really get cracking on these portraits, cause I got a lot of them, and you know I. And it's, it's, it's just like though, it's like this though. Like I have other like jobs that I have to do and like other employers and these commissions, although they're important, it's just like, it's like, well, I can do these commissions or I can spend time with my family. Right. So I can do the commission or I spend time with the family. So I'm like this tension because I don't really have a lot of time, like a lot of family time as is. So it's like, eh, I'm going to flip a coin and go play with my family. Like spend time with my family, you know. I guess. If I was single, then I want to have, have that issue, but. I'm not, so I gotta, you know, I gotta spend time with the old fam Rooney, because that's what you're supposed to do, you know? Well, I guess if you're a bazillionaire, you probably don't, because you, if you're a bazillionaire, you probably don't do that, you're just too busy, uh, I don't know what you're doing, I'm not a bazillionaire. So... But I really, really need to crack it on them. Because I like doing them. It's just there's only like, there's like a specific time I can do them. You know, I have like, I have a little bit of time before noon. A little bit of time from noon to 2. And a little bit of time from like 7.30 to 10 o'clock at night. But by then, you know, I've already been up for like, 15 hours 
Now, uh, for 12, I've already been doing stuff for about 13 hours. The last thing I want to do is make it a, 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 a 15 hour day, you know, and just start drawing, you know, this kind of sucks that it has to be that way. It's, it's a, they're long days, you know, and I usually try to treat like my, my Saturdays and Sundays, like a, um, a, uh, a light day. And then the rest of the other day, all the other days are like, um, they're like, I guess you would, they're not light days. Well, I mean, they're, they're heavy days. So they're like 14, 15 hour days. And then Saturday and Sunday, the days that I have the most time, I still am doing the same thing, just a little bit less. But when, when summer comes and I don't have to, um, uh, uh, teach my, my mornings are going to open up and I'll be able to spend like five hours drawing, uh, do my portraits, or at least I think I will be like, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to, ha how it's going to work out, but like, um, you know, I might, be, I might, my, my days might open up. They might not. You know, I hope so. Cause I really need like a good five straight hours of just of work, you know, cause I only spend about 30 minutes to an hour of painting a day. Right. So I only spend a good 30 minutes to an hour of painting. Cause I don't have any other, like there's really, really no time, especially when you got all these other things you got to do. Right. I wish I had five unadult like uninterrupted hours to do art stuff like technically I kind of do if I ignore everyone if I ignore everyone like that's phone calls uh, texts emails uh, uh, I, 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 I ignore a family right now is that fair I don't know it's weird, huh? But yeah, so I have time, but you know, it, it comes at a cost. You know, it comes at a at a cost, and I it's always on the back of my mind. Like, is this transaction of time worth it? Right? Do I feel that this extra time I spend working on my art is that going to be? The thing that I uh, sit down on my on my um, on my uh, deathbed and say, "Oh, I wish I uh, got that one more drawing done," or am I gonna say, "Oh, I wish I hugged my daughter one more time," you know, or I wish I, I had more time with my family, right? That's because that's really what it boils down to, like it. Everyone claims they're like into, they're like, I'm all about family. And then like, they go ahead and do like hundred hour work weeks. Like a lawyer or a doctor will say, you know, I'm really, I'm really into family. I'm, I'm family 100%. And, they, and then they go about and they do like a, 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 a two week, uh, uh, they're, they're gone for two weeks and they're, and they're back for another, uh, for two weeks. But those during those two weeks that they're back, they're working hundred hour weeks. And then they have the gall to say that they have, that they're a family man. I'm like, come on, please. Who are you kidding, bro? Who are you kidding? Anyways. I'm just about done here. So it's like a, it's kind of like a, painting life blog, right? Where I just rant about things or things that are going on with me. I mean, in the whole scheme of things, right? In the whole scheme of things, it's rather um, 
it kind of comes off as selfish, I guess, but it's like, it's rather, it's rather insignificant, right? We all think that our art or what we do is like this, this important thing. Even like, even like, you know, the ultra rich, you know, or just anyone really, they, they, they think that their, their purpose is the thing, you know? I think the, 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 probably the, would be like the most selfless one thing would be probably uh, uh, doctors maybe, you know, saving lives. It's probably more selfless than anyone, anything else, right? But like other occupations, eh, it's like this, like let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade. This is just a painting. And people like it. Some people don't like it. It's not going to end world hunger. You know? It's not going to stop war, right? It's just going to... It's just That's what it is. It's a painting. There's a bunch of shapes. There's some cool colors. Um, some people might get some joy out of it, right? They might they might hang it up in their bathroom. And they're, they're doing their business. And they're staring at the, that thing like, oh, that's a pretty painting. Right? So that's really all it is. But it's important to me, right? It, it, it gives me value. It makes me feel important, I guess. Uh, or at least in my micro microchasm of the world. Is that the word for it? I don't know. Um, and it gives me joy. So... You know, it's like the only thing I can do moderately well. Everything else is kind of, eh. <laughs> this guy can barely tie his own shoes, but <laughs> he can paint pretty good. How's this guy's handwriting looks like a fourth grader's, but he can paint really realistically and he has a steady hand. I don't know either. I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, everyone's always say, you need to write like you're drawing. Uh, you mean like really slow? <laughs> Because that's how my writing is going to look if I have to write like I'm drawing. And it's going to be like, uh, a, like it's a, like I'm treating it as, a, as if it's a drawing. Of course, I'm going to go really slow. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, I think I'm excited for these paintings because it's a completely new palette and I'm excited to see how the green colors interact. I also have some blues that I'm thinking about introducing. Um, I think the blue would be a good color to use because uh, I think it will go good with the gray because this gray is kind of like a bluish tint, a bluish hue. Uh, it's like a cool gray. So going with a blue, a blue color is typically a very cool color. So it will it will be a good like you know it'll add some harmony to the piece and then you're going to have like the acidic green being on the um, like the acid like I have this acidic green here it's called I think it's called venom you can't see it's called venom and um I don't know why I guess because of, like snake like I don't know um and I think it might be a cool thing to kind of have this like high chroma like hot green. Why is it? You, do you remember? Do you remember crayons when they had like hot, hot pink, hot orange, hot blue, or hot green? They had like these colors. They called them hot, like because they're really bright. I guess. I don't know why they called them hot, but that's what it is. Um, so I'm gonna finish this cup of coffee. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful s Sunday. Um, and have a great week. All right. Take care.